What's up, nerds? You like my you like my penthouse here? It's pretty cool. Anyway, I have something cool that I'm working on. So that thing over there, you see that? See that? It looks pretty small from over here, but I'm uh, going to be Batman. Jump off here. That's me. That's Batman. Bit of a bit of a knockoff Batman. Does Batman fly? Batman doesn't fly. I don't know. I've never watched Batman. I'm in my New York project slash Vancouver because that building is a real life building in Vancouver, which I will show you in an upcoming video on my main channel. It's going to be a good time. Stay tuned for that. If you're not subscribed, go do that right now at Alpine One. But yeah, this is a very cool building. So if you've been following my Instagram, you've probably seen some posts about this, but it's pretty cool. So the idea here is you have two bases, right? These two sections, they're pretty much identical, except the interiors are going to be quite different because these are going to be offices because it's on a very busy street. And then over here, these are going to be condos. Oh, yeah. And then up top, you have even more condos. But uh, this building was challenging, and it still is challenging. Obviously, I still have a lot more to do. I just copied that over there because, uh, I don't know, it's just my production process for making the, the big video on the main channel that you will see in a little bit. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's been quite fun so far. I spent about two and a half hours building it so far. I mean, it, it sounds like a lot for something, you know, doesn't look like I have a whole lot to show for it. But yeah, work in progress. So let me walk you through this here a little bit. You have... The shorter side you got the longer side that spans an entire block and then you have these structural elements here so these are all emergency staircases right go down here and then have it sort of dimly lit i don't want it to you know stand out too much so i just put redstone torches stuff like that so you can go all the way down here uh now this is a structural element similar to that one that one and then you got a couple over there as well i think you have three more yeah you kind of see those back there yeah they're hiding back there where is it? There it is. But yeah, these are used as structural supports. And then also this orange wool I'm using to map out the structural grid. See that? They are all in a grid, but these are also structural columns. And they, they are pretty realistic in terms of the, the spacing. I think I have them spaced 10 apart, but I am building at a slightly larger scale at 1.5 to 1. So realistically, uh, well, I mean, it, it you know depends on the building, of course. Um, but my structural engineering experience that is limited pretty much just to university suggests that if you space them 10 apart at a 1.5 to 1 scale, it should be pretty well okay. But yeah, you got the staircases that are encased. Way down here, you're probably wondering, hey, Matt, why the hell does it look a little bit different? What's, what's going on here? And why is there an exit right here, but then also one over here? How does it, what, 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 are you, what are you doing, Matt? What are you doing? That doesn't make any sense. Well, actually, it makes a lot of sense. So pay attention. I'm going to teach you about staircases. Okay. Oh, no, there's a fire. We're all going to die. Hey, let's go in here. Oh, okay. Let's go down here. Wow. Nice staircase. Should I go out here? Oh, no, this is still in the building. Oh, okay. Let's exit directly outside. Guess what? That is a fire code requirement here in Canada. Even though this is a New York build, shut up, don't worry about it. I'm assuming the regulations are probably pretty similar in the U.S., but uh, I don't live or work or go to university in the United States, so too bad. So, same picture here. One here. One over here. And then you have the same thing over here. That just connects directly outside. Now, the reason that I have this back by one is because this green is going to be the exterior facade. And then you have this darker green just to give me, you know, a little bit of extra depth when I am creating this facade because you're, you're going to see what it looks like. So stay tuned for that. So anyway, you have one, two, three, and four. And then you also have five, six, except this one has an elevator, right? This elevator goes up to, well, okay. This is a bit unique. So the elevator, like you can see it, and you know, I, I put all these glass floors here so that I can kind of demonstrate to you guys, you know, so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Because if this was all stone or uh, andesite here, it'd be pretty tough to see what I'm talking about. But uh, you do see the elevator that goes all the way down there. So you have the elevator. And then again, you have the staircase directly connected to it. So this is a shear wall, as I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with. Uh, if not, well, subscribe to this channel and my main channel, and you're going to learn a whole lot about shear walls. But if you've been watching the channel for a while, you definitely know what a shear wall is. Uh, but the reason that you can't actually access it here is that I'm using this as an elevator overrun, which typically is actually on the roof. So I do have 
another elevator over here that does go all the way up. So this is going to be the roof, right? This is sort of the mechanical equipment, like where the, the motor thing actually pulls the elevator from, right? So this one goes all the way up. Now, the reason that this one does not is because if I had it going all the way up, it would basically just be up against this exterior wall. And in real life, the design for this, you know, top part, you have two floors up on the top and then it kind of cuts down here. And then I've divided it here with some cyan wool because you're gonna have some pretty sweet penthouses up here and then they're gonna have their own exterior space. So you're gonna have one on the side, one on the side. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to subdivide it just yet. So that's probably my challenge for today or tomorrow. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get a better picture of that here coming soon. Down here is uh, quite unique. So I will also put up a video where I'm walking around kind of this base section here. Now, yes, it is, it is cool. Like this is not gonna come all the way down to the bottom here. You are gonna be able to walk through here. Uh, one of my biggest concerns and one of my concerns about the actual building as well is these units here. Well, okay, so you have your elevator here. So there, I'm definitely gonna put some sort of hallway that extends this way and then goes left and right, uh, but it's not gonna be very wide. I'm probably gonna put a wall here-ish. So you are still going to have a unit with a window right about here. And my concern is that there's not gonna be enough daylight, right? You know, especially when I explored it in real life, my thinking was I don't want to be right under this because you're really not going to get nearly as much daylight as if you're, you know, not under a giant building. So I'm not quite sure how I'm going to approach that yet. We'll see if I can potentially come up with a solution. I don't know if that's going to happen. It's, you know, especially prevalent in like this unit here and then this one right here. Kind of the same idea on this side too. I just mirrored them, except these ones are gonna be offices, so that's less of a concern. It's mostly in residential units that you really, really, really want to have sunlight if you can. Uh, I'll, you know, it's it's not possible everywhere, but if you can have sunlight, take it. But yeah, with the elevators, you can see that, uh, yeah, if I brought this one all the way up, it would kind of stick out onto the facade here. But uh, yeah, I tried to line this up as best as I could on the right-hand side there so that it does not connect to this lime green facade. So I have a little bit of extra width here so that I can cover this up if I you know, need to. Uh, but also there is a design aspect that I have used previously where you have the staircase and you could actually replace this with glass and essentially just make a window so that you can see the staircase going all the way down. I'm not quite sure how the you know fire properties and structural properties, if you are using this for the structure affects it, but I do have columns here, 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 and pretty much all, all the way around it. And this elevator could still be structural and it definitely will be. So maybe I don't need to make this staircase that's attached to it structural as well. I don't know, I'll, I'll figure it out. That's uh, on my to-do list. Also, if you're wondering what this thing is, that is a C with an L through it. That stands for center line, which is, you know, these two. It's not one block because it is an even number of blocks from this side. To this side but uh, that's just the center line here so that i can kind of see what i'm doing and then i also did have one through here i do have this is the same building back there pretty much identical that i copied uh you can see you know i measure at the width here 42 from here to here, here to here i was just measuring some stuff uh yeah condo thanks matt very cool this green marking here is just so i can see where it connects right down there so that i didn't screw up the elevator placement and the stairs but uh yeah that's pretty much it so far I am probably going to decorate at least a few of the units. I'm definitely going to decorate the lobbies and anything that, you know, you can publicly access. So if you're exploring the city on foot and you, you come along this building, and you're like, oh, that's pretty cool. You're like, oh, I want to go into this lobby for, you know, the offices or like if you're over on this side, this is going to be more of a residential lobby, but it's going to be cut off from the rest of it. Right. So you can walk in here, go up to your, your condo there if you're going way up to the top. And also, yeah, OK, there's a lot of fire concerns here, too. Right. Because if you are in this top section and you did not have one of these two staircases, you only have one staircase, right? If you only had that one and you live over here and there's a fire and you got to get out, there's no staircase there. What if it's blocked off? Well, that's why you have two staircases. You always need two staircases. I know I should probably have more elevators too. Maybe I'll add some more. I don't know yet, but uh, yeah, I'll figure it out. Anyway. If you like this video, click like. If you really like it, click subscribe. Go subscribe to my main channel because this is going to be a, a pretty cool video that I'm going to be putting out as soon as I'm done this and, you know, filming all this stuff and making all some cool stuff. But uh, yeah, my name is Matt. Thanks for watching.